The iOS 18.2 is available now officially for iPhones and in this video I am going to show you what are the changes in settings and action you must take right after updating your device to the iOS 18.2. So here we go. So once the iOS 18.2 is downloaded and installed on your iPhone, the very first thing you should do is go to the App Store, then go to your account and then swipe down like this to check whether any app updates are available for your iPhone or not. This is kind of important to have the latest version of all of the applications after installing the iOS 18.2 to avoid any compatibility issue, to avoid any crashing freezing of the application and to make sure that everything is working as expected on your iPhone. One of the most highlighted feature of the iOS 18.2 is the Apple intelligence and the integration of it with ChatGPT. But to use the ChatGPT with Apple Intelligence on your iPhone, you need to give your iPhone access to your ChatGPT account. For that, you have to go to the settings. After that, scroll down, go to Apple Intelligence and Siri. Tap on this, scroll down, and then you will find an option called extension. And here is the ChatGPT. If you tap on this, it will ask you to set up the ChatGPT for usage. If you tap on this, then this pop-up will come. And then you can tap on next. Enable the chat GPT. Then on the next screen, it will ask you to sign into your chat GPT account. You can select the advanced capabilities that what will be the daily limit of chat GPT usage. Or if you want, you can upgrade to chat GPT plus for unlimited usage and better performance. And in the Siri section, you will find the option to confirm chat GPT request. By default, it is turned on. If it is turned off, then you need to turn it on because when you use the Siri and Siri finds that there is a topic or answer that can be better managed by ChatGPT. Then the Siri will ask you that whether you would like ChatGPT to answer this question. And every time you will have to give the permission. And to get those prompts on your screen, you will have to turn on this confirm ChatGPT request. And of course, if you want, you can download and install the ChatGPT application, the standalone app on your device as well. Another cool feature of the iOS 18.2 is the inclusion of the image playground and the Genmoji in the iOS keyboard. But by default, it is not activated. For that, you will have to activate it manually. So once you update the iOS 18.2, you might get a notification prompt on your screen that image playground is available for your device. If not, you can go to the setting and here in this suggestion area, you will find once again, the same notification that image playground is ready for your smartphone. And even if it is not there, then what you can do, you can look for the image playground application and just tap on this. It will give you some prompt that accept the terms and condition or whatever, some information that how the app works. And after that, it will be activated and you can start using it. I have made a dedicated video and how to guide that, how you can use the image playground and the new Genmoji feature on your iOS 18.2 powered devices. So if you're interested in knowing more about the image playground and how to use it perfectly, then you can visit the link given in the description of this video, or you can click the link appearing at the top right corner of the screen. Apple has now added the volume scrub feature on the lock screen media player, but by default, it is also turned off. So you have to go to the settings to activate it. So just go to the settings after that scroll down go to the accessibility scroll down go to the audio and visual tap on that and here you will find an option called always show volume control as you can see by default it is turned off so tap on this slider now if I lock my screen now here you can see that the volume scrubber is available. Lights when you leave a room. Or avoiding and if you turn it off, then this volume scrubber will disappear. So once again, you have to activate this from the setting to get the benefit of this feature. And one new feature added in the iOS 18.2 is the visual intelligence. It is only available for the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro series smartphones that come with this dedicated button for camera control. So if you press and hold the camera control, then this screen will appear that talks about the visual intelligence with the camera control button. Visual intelligence captures the images using the camera and then the Apple intelligence analyzes the information on that picture and provides you relevant information just like we have seen on the Google Lens and some custom applications from some other smartphone brands. So if you tap on continue, 
you will get two options ask and search or you can just take a picture and then apple intelligence will show you the relevant information so you can see it is showing me the time that's the information it was able to extract from the screen if you want you can search on the internet especially on google to get more relevant information or you can just ask chat gpt to get further more information regarding the stuff that you are seeing on the display of your iphone 16. you can also use the visual intelligence if you point your camera at some building restaurants etc to get the menu for example from the restaurant or find the location of the building and other relevant information related to that but to make sure that the visual intelligence is working perfectly you will have to go to the settings then you will have to go to the privacy and security tap on that go to the location services then go to siri and make sure while using the app is activated and selected to allow the visual intelligence to work perfectly and in real time while you are using this feature using the camera control on your iphone 16 or 16 pro series smartphone the next one is go to the settings then go to the general about section and then you might see a pop-up for carrier settings update not everyone is going to see it but if you see it on your iphone then just tap on update to update it and make sure that the latest ios 18.2 powered device is fully compatible with the network and everything is working fine so these are all of the settings that you must change to fully utilize all of the new features that ios 18.2 brings to your iphone so that's all for now friends thanks for watching this video if you found it useful then give it a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe the channel and i will see you guys next time in another video have a nice day